Well, let's look at calculating magnification. Let's say we've got our photo here with our specimen. I've picked this specimen here. And we draw the specimen. And we want to know how many times has the specimen been magnified in this drawing. So first of all, let's look at the equation for magnification. Magnification is equal to the size of the drawing or the size of the specimen. And so we need to take a measurement. Now, we need to take the same measurement in both. We can either go with the length of the cell or the width. I've taken the length. And so I measure my cell from top to bottom in the drawing, and I find it to be 100 millimeters. Then I need to take the same measurement, so the length of my cell in the photo, so the actual specimen. And I do this as such. I see that there's a scale bar here. I measure the scale bar, so equivalent to one centimeter. All this means is that one centimeter on this photo is actually equal to one micrometer in real life. So if I measure my cell and I find it to be two centimeters, the actual length will be two micrometers because one micrometer is equal to one centimeter. If we had one micrometer is equivalent to 0.9 centimeters, all we do is take our two centimeters, divide it by 0.9, and we'd get our answers in micrometers. So now we've got our values, both values, but we need to be really careful because our values don't have the same units. And if we were to substitute them as they are just now into the equation, we'd get a wrong number. So what we do is we need to convert one of them is so let's take a thousand times bigger than a micrometer. And so what we do is we times it by a thousand and we get a hundred thousand micrometers. So now both of our um, values have the same units and we can put them into the equation. We've got magnification is equal to a hundred thousand over two and we get the magnification as 50,000. And so it means that the specimen has been magnified 50,000 times in our drawing. We can also use this equation um, to calculate the size of the specimen. So let's say we have the size of the drawing, we've calculated that, and we have the magnification, but now we want to know what is the actual size of the specimen. So all we do is we take the size of the drawing divided by magnification and that will give us the size of the specimen.